Storage has been an important part of our technological life, but have you ever stopped and wondered how much do you need, and how fast can you get the data? Well, we're going to dive into that today. But before we do, just a quick reminder to subscribe to the channel, it really means a lot, and it does help support the channel. Alright, now let's continue on with the video. So let's start with some general knowledge about the storage drives. As mentioned in the name, storage drives are, well, for storage, from the standard 128GB to the upper epsilon of 2 to 4 terabytes of storage. They are meant to store information or data on your machine or device. One common misconception is that the label does not represent the right amount of storage. For example, when you get a 1TB drive, it will show up as a 931GB on your computer. Now, this is due to how computer sees math. Physically, it contains 1 trillion bytes, which is 1 to the power of 12, but the computer only sees power of 2, which means that 1 kilobyte is seen as 1024 bytes. With this, after calculation, it becomes 931 gigabytes. Another thing to talk about is memory cache, which is for RAM, but to put it simply, Memory cache helps the computer transfer data faster with the help of RAM. In case if you didn't know, every storage has a RAM module built right into them, different from the RAM on the motherboard. Usually people look at the amount of storage but not the type of drive. Well, that is where we come in. Let's begin with the most common one used in recent times, the SSD or solid state drive. Now, SSD stores data on non-volatile flash memory chips. The neat thing about this is that SSDs has no moving parts, and it stores all data via integrated circuits. Think of it as a USB drive except faster and has a large storage capacity. But unlike a USB drive, SSDs are not cheap. In fact, the more storage they have, the more expensive they get as they require more nano chips for the storage. Now you've probably heard of these terms before, SATA, N.2 SATA, PCIe Gen 3, NVMe, and PCIe Gen 4. Like any piece of hardware, the name determines the model and generation of the tech, but in this case, it determines the speed of the SSD, with SATA being the slowest. On the screen now, you can see a couple of examples of load times for different games using different SSDs. Keep in mind, SSD affects only the load times in game, but not the FPS of the games. Plus, on the productivity side, rendering on SSD is faster and more efficient. This includes other forms of design work like 3D modeling. As in the world of video editing and any form of media or design, time means everything. Therefore, with how SSDs work, they will increase the productivity of any editing job by at least 50%. So you're probably asking, what about my phone? It says it has an SSD in it, what's the difference? Well, the difference between a phone SSD and a computer SSD is simply the number of NAND flash memory chips. A computer SSD can have 8 to 16 to whatever number is needed, while a phone can have at most 2 currently as they have to make room for other components like the radio chip for mobile communication, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, touchscreen controllers, and etc. We've talked about SSDs, but now let's look at their counterpart, the HDD, aka hard disk or hard drives. Now this is a vital component to the extent of it normally being the default data storage of most laptops and desktops, meaning it stores most of our data files, operating systems, and installed apps. Unlike its relative, the SSD, it however has a couple of moving parts, for example, the spinning disks and its moving actuator arm to write, retain, and fetch digital information when it is needed. Now what is the advantage of having a hard drive over an SSD? Well, SSDs are faster, but hard drives are safer. Due to their magnetizing mechanisms, the data on HDD remains intact even when power is switched off. So now you know what an SSD is and what an HDD is. But have you ever wondered what happens if they have a child? 
Well, look no further because that's what an SSHD is. It takes both strengths of the two drives. Now how does it work? It's similar to a traditional hard disk with a small amount of solid state built in it, approximately around 8GB. The drive also has a controller chip to determine whether the data goes into the HDD or the SSD. This means the Asus HD provides the ultimate solution for both storage and performance within the budget. By combining both technologies, the Asus HD provides both storage of an HDD and the performance of an SSD. And that concludes today's video. If you've learned something today, leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and do consider subscribing as it does help support us in what we do. And tap the notification bell so you can be notified when a video goes live. There will also be a follow-up video talking about server and NAS drives. But until next time, stay home, stay safe, and thank you all for watching.